with our fourth and final session. We're bringing on Arizona State, uh, UCLA, and Washington. Um, UW in the building. So we're going to start here first with ASU. And um, representing for the Sun Devils, it's, of course, um, Coach Charlie Turner Thorne, who just recently recorded a seven straight season with 20 wins or more again in a row. She's here with Junior Iris Mbolito, also boost both some international uh, experience with the Spanish national team. And uh, first and foremost, hey, Charlie, how are you, Iris? Is Iris, did she make it in here? Oh, yeah. Can you not see her? Yep, we're here. Thanks, Roz. Hi. Great to see you. Hey, great to see you guys. <laughs> um, Iris, I want to get right to it with you. You know, last season, um, you were more of an X factor, if you will. You know, but this year, um, you know, out, out goes some graduation and more, more in comes the opportunity. There's not going to be Riley Richardson. Robbie Ryan is gone. Jatavia Tapley is gone. So what does that mean for you? And what does the offense lean on this season? Well, um, my role as a player has increased this year, um, but I'm really excited to help my teammates and to have fun out there. Um, then the offense, we came with a new offense. Um, it's helping everybody develop their play, their game. So we're just really excited about this season. Tell me about this new offense. Like, what's uh, the philosophy or at the core of what you're enjoying? You can say that in Spanish, Iris. <laughs> um, well, I guess you'll have to wait to see that. Ooh, spicy. This is not your first rodeo. Okay, good media training. But I will ask you this question then, because what I have learned from whether I was playing or now covering ASU is you never sleep on, on the Sun Devils. And to start this season, there have been five teams in the AP preseason, top 25. ASU is on the outside of that, but we know it's about how you finish the season. Um, why do you think people should not sleep on your team? Bueno, nuestro equipo, sorry, that was supposed to be English. Uh, so <laughs> our team, <laughs> um, well, we don't have a number by our name, but we don't care about that. We're ready to fight every game. We're ready to outwork every team, um, to dig deep and to have fun at the same time. So we don't care about the name. We're just going to show what we have. Um, gracias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I've got to work on that, but um, very exciting. The uh, international flair we have. We'll have a translator for your post-game interviews after you finish dominating. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. perfect. <laughs> Um, Iris, thank you. We're just going to keep moving along. We want to get everyone in here. So uh, I want to introduce UCLA, uh, who is represented by Coach Corey Close. Um, her Bruins are picked in the AP preseason top 25, number nine in the nation. Um, and they're led by senior forward Michaela Onyonwede, who is an AP preseason All-American as well. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Good to see you, Ross. Thanks for having us. Hi, good to be here. Well, it's good to see you, Ross. Hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I love I love to see you both as well. Um, I, you know, I say this for a lot of people, but I can't believe you're a senior. Like, isn't it? I literally know. Like, it's literally gone by so fast. Like, I was like, where did the four years go? Like, crazy. I what? prefer not to talk about it. <laughs> um, you know, with that in mind, like. It's an odd time to be a senior. Like, how will you approach this year trying to cherish a final season and also navigate so much unknown? You don't even know everything that might happen or will happen this year. Yeah, I think you hit it right on the nail as far as just cherishing the moments that we have. I think that's what COVID taught me um, like eight months ago is just cherish every single moment you have with your teammates um, at this at this nice at this place at UCLA with the people that I have surrounding around me and so that's been just something that I've been kind of honing in on just cherishing what potentially could be my last year and obviously adapting to whatever COVID brings and I think that's something that our team has definitely harped on um, since we've been back. It feels like a healthy mindset um, you know when I, I think about your team this year you return still a lot of talent um, last year there was no March Madness there was no NCAA tournament um, but before that, y'all had been to four straight Sweet 16s, which is an incredible feat. 
And I know how hungry you are and I know how much potential is on that, this team. So what are the things that could separate your team this season that could take you out to that next level, you know, to winning a Pac-12 championship, maybe a final four, maybe more, like what takes you there? Yeah, I think this year is a little bit different, obviously, like you said, but I'm just really excited to be able to go to war with the women that we do have on the team this year. And it is a little bit different, but I think our versatility is something that will definitely push us over the edge. Um, I think we've just been a better shooting team as far as practice has been um, over these last couple of weeks. And so I'm just excited to go to war with these people, um, have the season start in like eight or nine days. Um, yeah, see how the season goes. Yeah, I, I feel the approach you're taking with this. Um, one young player who had a great season last year, uh, Charisma Osborne. Um, what can we expect from her in her second season? A whole lot of buckets. I love that girl. Um, she's actually my roommate, so I around her much more than probably I would even want to. But I just <laughs> love her so much. And she has just grown so much in her confidence and her leadership. And it's just been so cool to see a little freshman who is who is just kind of navigating her way in college, just be this really strong and powerful leader that we even follow and I fo find myself following. And that's just kind of the commanding presence that she has. And she's also super good at basketball and able to put the ball in the basket and kind of like, she's just really, really unguardable. And so I'm super excited to go to war with her by my side. Absolutely. You got someone in the trench. You got a whole squad in the trenches with you. <laughs> um, it's great to see you. I want to make sure to move along. We also have Washington in the building. UW and representing uh, Washington is coach Jody Wynn. So last year continued the upward trajectory for coach Wynn. Um, they posted a 13 and 17 overall record, five and 13 in the Pac-12, uh, the most wins in both categories over the previous three seasons. So continued growth for this program. And they're joined, Coach Wynn is joined today by junior forward Haley Van Dyke, who has not missed a game in her Husky career. Um, so that is dedication. What's up, Coach Wynn? Hi, Hi Haley. Oh, it's great to Hi. see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you guys too. Welcome to Media Day. Um, so we're going to go, you know, straight to it. Haley. There's going to be a lot of opportunity. Amber Melgoza opens up a lot of production there for the team. And then, of course, with Missy Peterson and the ACL injury, um, it's just, you know, shifted things. What are the things that your team are going to be proud to hang their hat on this season? Um, well, first of all, we have a really young team this year. I think our freshmen are doing a great job of stepping up and um, just like playing their role on the team because we need them this year, definitely. Um, but without Amber, um, yeah, we all, all, we all have a, lot, a big opportunity to step up. And I think that um, that's just something that we need to hang our hat, head, hat on because we all are going to have to just pick up the energy and um, step up for each other. Coach Wynn, what's going on back there? I'm in a room where the lights turn off without movement. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were good. I thought you liked Haley's answer and you were like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> um, so Haley, you know, with big losses often come lowered expectations for a program. And so, you know, we had the, the PAC 12 preseason coaches and media poll, and they kind of had you guys on the lower side of it. And I'm wondering what are ways that you might surprise people this season? Yeah. Um, well, like we said before, we don't really, care about preseason rankings. It doesn't really matter to us and it doesn't affect our mindset towards the season. Um, but with us, we just like to take it one game at a time and keep pushing. And I think that's one of our strengths because even with adversity, um, we're just ready to keep moving forward.